Hey everybody, welcome back to Greg's Game Room. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm just going to play Donkey Kong and we can talk about it. We can talk about all of my experiences with Donkey Kong. So this is the Atari 8-bit version of Donkey Kong and this is kind of like the version that I more or less grew up with. So let's get started. Now, first thing you'll notice, of course, that this uh, version of the game is missing a platform. But other than that, this game is really incredible. It's very smooth. Mario runs very smoothly. Um, of course, I'm using the classic Atari joystick. This is the one for the XEGS. It's white. On this stage, I have to get the... Are these fire boxes? Very difficult to jump over. I got really good at this game back in the day. Played the heck out of it. I'm not as good as Billy Mitchell, of course, but uh, not too bad. Gotta get these guys to not. There we go. Ooh, that was a good jump. Yeah, you're going down, Donkey Kong. Oh. That every time he lands. I remember getting this game in a uh, what they what, what passed for a computer store back in the day in uh, in Lake Wales, Florida, down at the arcade in Lake Wales, Florida. Well, it was called the arcade. It was kind of weird because I always thought, hey, where's the video games? Uh, it was an arcade, meaning uh, an arcade of stores. And this was a computer store that had a lot of weird stuff in it, not just video games, but they also had like uh, this guy right here, Odie, I got at that uh, game store as well. This game I remember getting for $50, Donkey Kong, for the Atari computer, for $50. I played it on my Atari 400 uh, computer, the one that has the membrane keyboard. Oh, this guy's gonna get over or what? Making my life difficult here. Come on, pick a side. Pick a side. And like I was saying, I got this game for fifty dollars back in the day, and that was just <laughs> super expensive. And honestly, I don't even remember playing Donkey Kong in the arcades that much. But uh, it was the game everybody was talking about, I guess, and I just got it. Oh, man, I almost forgot how to do that. Computer stores back in the day were really different than they are now. And now, where do you go? Where do you go to get your computer uh, games from? Walmart or maybe Best Buy or uh, Staples? Oh, come on! No way! I mean, this this particular computer store was just kind of like your neighborhood computer store. Had all this Atari stuff there. I remember going there and they had a, it was like a computer camp that they had. And I got so frustrated because one of the tasks was to program the different weights that you would be on different planets. Like they would give you, uh, they would tell you that, uh, well, your weight on the moon is, you know, but three quarters what it would be on Earth and stuff like that. So, you know, your job was to calculate how much your weight would be. It's like, I didn't know what to do. I was like in third grade. I didn't know how to <laughs> calculate that kind of stuff. So I just kind of sat there staring at the screen, wishing I could be playing uh, some video games instead. And uh, then the guy came over and said, all you gotta do is just put this in here. And he showed me real quickly how to, how to calculate that stuff. That was like my first, uh, experience with algebra. Oh crap. That, it, that uh, death animation is the weirdest thing. I remember the marketing. Oh, oh I got it. For this game, the advertisements said, you don't just play Donkey Kong. Feel it, and in this case, I think it's true. Uh, this is 
I think this is the best version of Donkey Kong. Maybe even better than the arcade, except for the fact that it's missing that platform up there. It's just so smooth. And all the, the levels in the, are in the correct order, which drives me nuts when I'll play some of these uh, versions of the game and the, the levels do not, they don't come out right. They're not in the right order. It drives me crazy. Oh, oh man. And he was, he was gunning for me. He's coming straight at me. Look at all those guys up there. Come on. And they just keep coming. They just keep... Oh, crap. Ah, oh, there we go. Ha ha ha. I'm good at this version. Yeah, I don't understand why I just killed myself right there. Why did I do that? Oh, game over. Okay, well, I guess I'll have to play again. Mario is so smooth. He's just like butter, and then he dies by hitting a barrel. Come on, Mario! You're better than this. What's that barrel gonna do? What's it gonna do? Oh, I did the backwards jump! You gotta get the hammer at this point, because there's just too much stuff coming after me. Too many points to be had here. 300 points of barrel, 500 points for this guy. Oh, 300 points. Oh, that's not fair. I should get a lot more points for him. Can I get this last barrel? Yes! And get me up the ladder, quick. Oh, the timing was just not right! Yeah, I would like to see Billy Mitchell play this version of Donkey Kong. Look at that. Did you see that? I just jumped over two barrels at once. And they weren't even close to each other. That was amazing. I'm the champion Atari 8-bit Donkey Kong player. Look at that. You can't get me. Too fast. Too fast for you. guys right here, you die. Minions of Donkey Kong. Gotcha. Alright, go away, Hammer. I always do this little jump when I go over the last rivet. Jump! <laughs> One of the things that makes this game, this version of the game, so much better is that like I was saying, the controls are just perfect. On the arcade version, it's very difficult going up and down the ladders. You have to specifically move the joystick in that direction. Whereas this, I can hit the joystick, you can't really see it, but I can hit the joystick diagonally and he'll go up the ladder. The programmer did a really good job with the controls on this game, let's just say that. Alright, here we go to the springs. We're going to the springs, we're going to the springs. We all like one of the springs. The springs are fun. Especially when you get chocolate. They usually don't get the birthday cake over there. It's probably a lot more points. Now where is that other spring going? Okay, I gotta get right under here and... Oof. Almost too slow that time. That's awesome. Anybody else want more? Come on up here. Come on. Come on. All right. Forget it. Sometimes you gotta fool them into thinking you're gonna stay on that level. really care for the way the box fires look in this. They're too big. That's about the only 
Other than the fact that this only has uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh shoot, too busy counting. Uh, five uh, girders there. It's missing one girder. That's the only other thing that bothers me about this version of the game is that the box fires are just so huge. They're almost impossible to jump over. Which they're difficult to jump over in the arcade as well, but. Dang it! You can time that jump if you get it just right, and I've failed miserably so far. Come on, get up this ladder quickly. There we go. Come on, we can do it. Bingo. I'm actually playing this with my thumb. I'll be on the joystick like this. I'm just moving it with my thumb. Got him. Ooh, that was close. Almost got the... I don't like that. Cement pie. Did you call it a pie factory or cement factory? I always call it a pie factory. Even though I know it's cement. Oh, come on. Get over here quick. Maybe I can get over on this side. There we go. I saved you, Pauline! I saved you! It's... It's a me, a Mario! I saved you from the Donkey Kong! Come on, go down. There we go. Time that just right. Oh, shoot. Now I've got two rivets. Rivets? Uh, springs. Navigate around. I forgot how to do this now. I'm gonna die. There we go. Now, if I stand right on top of that, it should be good. There we go. Yeah, just like the old days. Bingo! I never really played for points. I was too interested in just uh, seeing how far I could get. Oh, come on! Seriously? Game over! Oh, man. Well, that's Donkey Kong for the Atari 8-bit computer. If you ever get a chance to play it, definitely try it. You might even like it better than the arcade version. I do. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. All right, Donkey Kong. One more game. Ah! Oh, why did I do that?